Did you know every time you learn something new, your brain receives a shot of dopamine? What a hook, man. Got him. Got him. Okay, so, uh, haven't found any sponsors for my show yet. But anyways, I'm going to say shout out to Athletic Greens 1, AG1. I don't know if y'all heard that supplement, but it's something I really want to start taking. Uh, but I got to get my money up first. I've heard really good things about it. So, uh, AG1. Athletic Greens 1. It's like a green drink. It's pretty cool. So, uh, whenever I get my money out, that's going to be like one of the first things I start buying. So, uh, so let's begin, I guess. Let's see, pulled some questions. Okay, and hey, Mr. Value Add. <laughs> Any more tips on cybersecurity? Uh, yeah, I've got a few. Uh, I'll say on the phones that I use, uh, I don't use a passcode. You know, like most people just use like a six digit passcode and they're uh and their like face id i don't do either of those so like when you open up my phone it's a, it looks like that so it's like inner passcode then you gotta type in like a super long password uh you know phones are super secure and everything but you know with like the pegasus app that those people in israel created like the federal government bought so they can get into like any phone you know so um yeah, you know, so that's my advice on that. You know, I don't like to do the face ID. I just feel like it's too easy to get into people's phones with, if you're using a face ID. Okay, so next we will go AR versus VR. More on that. Says that I'm not qualified to be talking on that. Okay, well, that's completely up to you. That's your opinion. Uh, but I'll say this, okay? So let's, let, let's rewind to 1999, okay? In 1999, if someone told you that in 20 years, you'd be able to talk to anyone in the world looking in their face in the palm of your hand, that would have seemed like some crazy sorcery magic, you know, like a FaceTime call. And that's just like, so you gotta like understand like, that's what like breakthroughs in technology are. It seems like magic, sorcery, like crazy shit, you know? Uh, so that's what I'm saying is, you know, I read science fiction. That's like where the shit comes from, you know? Uh, but think about that, you know, seriously. Okay, so next question is, uh, let's go with lead generation for residential sales and solar okay when i started solar you know i i started out knocking on doors and shit like that uh and then obviously i created some landing pages i think y'all have seen those uh and then but basically what i really where i had like most of my leads came from i was in deals like every day and it usually came from facebook marketplace you know just writing ads um selling solar and just posting 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 um so that's like a good place to be like if you're trying to sell you know um join groups on facebook marketplace and go hard on that that would be what my recommendation would be okay and as far as affiliate marketing did you have any other strategies other than your websites i did i used to go in and I would post that because I would also sell stuff like TVs and stuff like that because like on the past strategy I had you know like Best Buy uh, Amazon you know and I'd have like big ass flat screens and stuff that I price compared you know and basically I would put you know like a like a 70 inch TV for sale or whatever on Facebook marketplace and then someone would shoot into my messenger and then I would sell them, be like, hey, you know, and they, you know, start a conversation and shit, and then I'd be like, yeah, and, you know, I compared, shopped around for you, and here's a link, you know, to order a TV for the price that I was freaking advertising it for. Um, yeah, you know, so that's what I would do. Um, you know, I'd funnel them from Marketplace to Messenger, then drop links. But like I said, I never had any luck doing it. I don't understand quite how I never had any luck other than centralized networks. Um, so yeah 
And then, uh, are you going to publish your book, Campaign LLC? I want to, man. Okay. I don't know if y'all know what neuroplasticity is, but it's basically when your brain changes. So I think like when you read, it's like doing push-ups for your brain. You know, it makes you a lot smarter. And when I wrote some of the books that I wrote, I was going through like extreme neuroplasticity where my brain was like going nuts. So it's like those books are intense, you know, like they will give you crazy brain workouts. Um, but I just heard from Bosco, which was exciting. And she was like, are you ready to do business? You know, and I want to, but I kind of want to get a little feedback before I just like run it, you know? Um, so I don't know. I think she's, I, I've worked with, I've worked this, I like, I, I've worked those people to death. I feel like, you know, sending them all these books, like, yeah, you know, you use this cover, you know, do this, do this, you know? So they definitely earned the business, you know? So I'm definitely going to go with them when I do, when I do it, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, I'd really like to have a team maybe help me with like the cover, maybe do some edits for me. Just give me a little feedback because some of it's I know is a little crazy, you know, like some crazy shit. Like I don't know, like another book. Uh, I don't know if y'all have ever read like Marcus or Lewis Meditations. It's pretty good, you know, but it's like a difficult read. And mine, I think, it's kind of like a. From what I try to stay away from it, to be completely honest with you, because it's like reading it is like not good for my brain, you know. Um, <laughs> So I don't know, you know, like I said, I need to get some feedback on it, you know, um, and figure it out from there. Okay, so next, I guess we will talk about starting a business, high ticket versus subscription business models. I'll say both are excellent business models. I will say high ticket, um. Like, I believe Hermosi, I believe he sells businesses, you know? So that's like about as, you know, high ticket badass as you can get, you know? I think he's close to like $43 million deals and stuff like that, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, and I would say high ticket too, like on deals like that, you know, it's like you close, you hit, you know, like you get off and then you've got to find your next client, you know? So it keeps the hustle going. It keeps the ambition. I'll say subscription It'll put you in a comfort zone faster, but I will say that continuous money coming in, if you set proper goals, you can really build off of it, it's like build something great, and like that feels so good, you know, just like having that income coming in, you know, like that. So it depends on who you are, what your goals are, you know, if you're trying to be a billionaire, probably high, well, you can become a billionaire either way, honestly. Um, so I don't know, man, it just depends on, you know, find something that you think can benefit people can help people, you know? Um, other than that, you know, I guess I didn't really crush this one. It's only eight minutes, but... Um, I guess I'll tell you guys where I'm at with everything in my life. I did a really... I feel really good about this email campaign that I did yesterday. I had some really good leads. Um, and I got, like, like I think, like, 70 views. Um, my first video that I did, I, had, I, 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 like, knocked that one out of the park. I had, like, 100-something views, but I, like had like an intense email campaign but i had some really good leads yesterday and i feel like i did pretty successful and uh i think i'm getting close to 500 subscribers uh well i think i've got like 21 subscribers in the past like 30 something days so that's pretty cool and what else i listened to some great podcasts today obviously and I'm pretty sure that I've decided to go to Amsterdam, you know? I think that's where I'm going to go first. And maybe go to Australia, you know, maybe make a little show out of it. I don't know, you know, but I'm pretty pumped about it. I need to get some new phones, um, new email addresses, kind of see if I can maybe go off grid or something. I think that would be pretty cool unless I start, like, you know, getting some, getting paid or something, so... I don't know. Anyways, well, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy schedule to tune in and watch my show today. And remember that I love you and you're beautiful and that you can be what you will to be.